Affinity Publisher allows you to instantly switch between advanced photo editing features to precise vector tools without ever having to leave the Publisher app. Having access to specific designer and photo tools from within Publisher alleviates some of the need to create graphics independently. In this particular example, we'll take advantage of the appearance panel from the designer persona, adding multi-strokes and multi-fills to shapes. With this example, I want to add multi-stroke effects to these triangles. So to begin with, I'll move over to the designer persona. And I can only do this if I have an up-to-date version of Affinity Designer installed on the same machine. Now in the designer persona, we have access to a different tool set. Tools such as the corner tool, the vector pencil and vector brush tool, and tools like shape builder or the measure tool. So I'll select this first triangle and then locate my appearance panel. We can see currently that this frame has a small stroke effect applied and no fill. So to begin with, I'll edit the existing stroke, increasing the stroke width to around 19 points. I want to make sure that the stroke appears inside the triangle, so I'll adjust the align options by selecting align stroke to inside. I'll go back to my appearance panel and I'll choose to add another stroke by using the add stroke button. And this time, I'll change the blend mode to a raise. Now, when I increase the second stroke's width, it starts to erase some of the first stroke, giving this shape an appearance of having a thin white line running around the inside edge of the triangle. I'll adjust the width to around 22 points. To continue adding additional strokes to the triangles, I could use the Style Picker tool to copy the new stroke style and apply it to other triangles on the page. So I'll select the Style Picker by long clicking on the Tools panel, selecting the style I wish to copy, and applying it to the other triangles. In addition to adding multiple strokes, we can also add multiple fills. So I'll scroll down to the page below, and I'll select this black rectangle sitting behind this text here. I'll once again go to my appearance panel, and this time I'll choose to add a fill. We'll edit the fill, and this time we'll make it a gradient. I'll assign the blend mode overlay, to give the rectangle a slight transparent effect. I'll select the style picker once again, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows to reload the style picker, and then apply the style to the other rectangle using a single click. And that's how to add multiple strokes and fills to shapes in Affinity Publisher using the designer persona. Thank you for watching.